assalamu alaikum my dear friends i am engineer saifullah and you are watching saifal engineer at sight youtube channel dear friends our today video is about the important skill for quality assurance and quality control engineer how to become a successful quality assurance and quality control engineer what are the skills which should a qqs engineer have and if you want to join the quality department of your company or a project so what you need to learn in this video today i will discuss about the most important skills for a kwe qc engineer so dear friends watch this video from start till the end without skin, skipping any part of the video if you are a new viewer so please subscribe to our youtube channel like the video and share it with your friends so let's start our video the first thing for every engineer and especially for a qqc engineer is communication skills how as a qqc engineer you will attend a meeting you have to do the quality induction you have to do the toolbox meeting with your site execution team for the quality and you have to convince the execution team to follow the quality standard and specification of your of the project so if you are a better in the communication skills so you will convince them better if you are not good in the uh, communication skills so maybe you will not convey your message to them in a proper way so the best thing you have to improve your communication skills you have to improve the way you are conveying your message to other people are the execution team if you are a good in the communication skill so you will be good in meetings toolbox about the quality quality induction this is the most important skills for all engineer and especially for a quality control engineers the second thing is have a good experience in execution if you are a fresh and you want to join a quality department it's okay but if you spend one or two year as a site engineer and in the execution department and then you switch your job to the quality department so that will be best because when you spend your time in the execution department or in the construction so you pass problem then you find a solution for that issues and problem and you experienced a lot of things at sight so when you come to the quality department and you visit sites and you witness concrete and you witness different tests so you know how the execution team will do that and where they are making mistake and where you have to focus on the work because you experienced these things in your previous work in the execution department so it will be better to become a qvc qvc engineer before you have to spend one or two year in the execution department or in the construction team third thing drawing reading you should be the best in the drawing reading because most of your work in inspection at sites so you have to check everything with a drawing because some when something is against the drawing are not as per the drawing it means this is a non conformity but for that you have to know how to study the drawing how to read the drawing and there will be no confusion in your mind during the drawing reading the fourth thing is documentation as a qqs engineer your site work is about around about 30 to 40% but your 60% is 
responsibility in work is about documentation WIR work inspection request material inspection request NCRs method statement inspection and test plans MEP clearances corrective action reports preventive action reports site observation reports different documentation you have to do as a QC engineer so you knowledge about the documentation should be better as compared to site engineers the pep thing is when you have a good knowledge about the documentation so how you will do that documentation so for that you have to know about MS office your skills and knowledge should be good in MS, MS Excel and MS Word sometime PowerPoint but the most important are Excel and MS Word the sixth thing is now international codes we have different international codes like SEI codes, American Concrete Institute codes, ASTM codes, British codes, and some national codes like if you are working in Saudi Arabia to Saudi building codes, your knowledge should be better about these codes. You have to know about this code and the values of quality standards, everything in the course. I will not say that you have to know 100% about this course because it's not possible. This is not a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10 course. But generally you will be good about the, in the knowledge about this course as compared to site engineer or any other engineer. And sometime interviewer will ask you about course in the interview if you are going to attend an interview for a job. Seventh thing, QMS quality management system. You should know about the quality management system as a QC engineer. You have to attend webinars, trainings about the quality management system to get knowledge about the quality management system. And it will be the best if you get the quality management ISO 9001 2015 lead editor certification. So it will be extra benefit, but you have to know about the quality management system. So skill number eight is material knowledge. As a QAQC engineer, you have to control quality and execution as, but also in a material. Which kind of material will be used in the project as that material are approved or not approved? quality of that material is good or not do you have any test certificate for that material so you have to know about each and everything about the material which will be used on site during execution you have to know how to check the material what are the standards what are the values what are the different tests for the material you have to know about all of these things test certificates each and everything you have to know about the material which will be used at site during execution question uh, the skill number nine knowledge about test as a QAQC engineer you have to witness different quality test and different uh, performance tests for the material and also at site like tests about concrete test about different material like steel test results about different relics which will be used for the back peeling, sub base, subgrade, all about these things and the te quality test and the performance test for all of these things you have to know about that and you have to know how to read the test reports and then you have to verify that test reports result with the project specification and international standards. The tenth skill is about AutoCAD. You should be good in AutoCAD. Like I will not say you have to be pro in the AutoCAD, but minimum. Generally, you should be able to use AutoCAD because sometimes we need to check the drawings in AutoCAD. Sometimes we need to highlight the different areas, location, access, grades, and AutoCAD and different portion of the 
drawing in AutoCAD. So you have to know the general, general thing about the AutoCAD. So guys, let me summarize. A pass skill for a QA QC engineer is should be good in communication skill, have a good experience in execution, should be able to read the drawings properly, have a good knowledge in documentation, PEP, have a good knowledge in MS Office, have a good knowledge about international standards, have a good knowledge about quality management system, have a good knowledge about the material tests, how to inspect the material and each and everything. Have a good knowledge about the quality test and performance test for the different material and work. And should have a general knowledge and like uh, the, uh, the, the about AutoCAD, how to use AutoCAD. And about documentation, whatever we have documentation in the as a QAQS engineer, we should know about I uploaded a lot of videos about WR, MIR, ITP, NCR, INCR, observation report, checklist. And also I uploaded a video on the responsibility of QAQS engineers. So if you watch that video, so you will get more and more knowledge about how to become a QAQS engineer. And if you have any question regarding this videos and these points you can ask in the comment section and you can also contact me through my social networks links are available in the description of the video and also in the about section of the channel